Hi, my name is Inquisha Crutcher. I am an entrepreneur, toy inventor, book and author, um, and so much more. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's like really hard trying to talk about yourself. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. And just a little bit, you're also a business owner, right? I am a business owner. Um, I own um, To Grandma's House I Go, which is a book and toy company. Um, we just launched, which goes deeper into children. The book series is called To Grandma's House I Go. With that book series, we are taking that and making toys for children and it's all about family love and faith and trying to get kids to reunite and um, get more excited about reading family love and unity so thank you that sounds incredible my name is Ethi Yasu Khan I'm the chairwoman of women in toys licensing and entertainment and welcome to our who am I interview series black history month edition in the Who Am I series, we feature voices from underrepresented communities and the inspiring stories behind them. Thank you for joining our conversation. Thank so, you for having me. Of course, thank you for being here. Go to our first question. So how has your journey in the professional world shaped your sense of identity as a Black woman? And what unique strengths do you believe Black women bring to the workplace? Women as a whole, um, we have we bring so much more energy, motivation, um, determination. And I feel like that is a very much needed for the workplace, the workforce today in this world, bringing those positive energies um, for women of um, who similar as me and those who are have a similar heart as us as well. We take those initiatives and we make a better workplace. We um, know how to thrive, know how to take different initiatives and make it a make it something that um, that you can take to, from generation to generation is all about passing on the torch and passing that baton. So mm -hmm. excellent. Can you share a specific experience or challenge you faced as a Black woman in your career? And how did it contribute to your personal and professional growth? Mm. Well, so, so many challenges, especially, um, you know, starting off new and fresh and you don't know, like, what to do, right? So um, one specific challenge I could say is, like, finding, like, that common... Um, or finding something that you can thrive, like toward, like having that motivation behind it, considering that you're walking in this alone, sometimes it gets a little, you know, daunting at times. Mm -hmm. However, finding something or a faith base or something that you could hold on to, to thrive you, to keep you motivated, mm -hmm. um, is more incidents I walk into where, you know, the, the workload may get a lot or, um, you may feel like, okay, this assignment may be too much for me. How can I execute this? And then you start comparing a lot. And I saw myself doing that a lot as well. But I had to realize like me coming into the workforce, I bring something special um, and everybody has their special identities. So we be, we are able to um, bounce back and um, make it a better workplace no matter what. So it sounds like your identity has built this innate resi resilience. Um, you know, resilience also breeds resourcefulness. You know, in a world where stereotypes exist and an industry dominated by men and traditional networks, how do you navigate and overcome obstacles to achieve success in your professional life while staying true to yourself? Speaking of just thinking about the resilience you highlighted earlier. Yeah, for sure. Like, Keeping ground, I'm going back to the same question, um, previous question, but just keeping grounded. Like, um, it can be a little intimidating because, you know, sometimes people of color or people um, who are like us, we get a little intimidated coming into this big ground with um, people who are not like us, men or other people who have different businesses or different plans, and it may seem like it's trumping us. But um, for me, I, you know... <laughs> um, I just had to take a step back, um, find my ground, stand on my motives and my morals, um, and make sure that I am taking one step at a time, having a short-term goal, having a long-term goal, having those things in sight, like in a vision. So that way, um, 
that way I won't get lost in the clutter because it can get daunting at times seeing somebody else maybe get promoted or seeing uh, another person who's not like you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like it can get a little daunting, but we have to keep going and thriving and just keep grounded and having a support system too. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say people who, um, who may have walked a similar walk, mm -hmm. you know, or mm -hmm. people in your corner cheering you on. It can be like your mom, dad, sister somebody who has that positive outlook for you who can help hold your hand because it takes a village you know that <laughs> it's a village to kind of help bring that up so yeah, yeah. well mm -hmm. th those are some wonderful nuggets of wisdom if i could just take them one by one um, having a short-term, long-term, and medium-term goal, because especially when you're starting out, it can be so overwhelming when you try to think of the span of your career. So breaking it down in in in, uh, in that vein. And then you said something also really poignant, not getting lost in the clutter and recognizing what is the clutter. So this, this is really wonderful because it leads into my next question. You know, how, what advice would you give to young Black women who are just starting out their careers based on your own experiences? And I think you've kind of answered it already, but I'd love to hear more. Yeah. Keep going, have accountability partner, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have that. That was sustain me. I know um, when I did my first lunch for this toy um, doll, the Tanner doll, um, I had a good team of supporting people around me. And I will also say having that team after you do a big event or something, because, you know, we always on that adrenaline and we're running, we got so much going. And then once that event is done, you're like, whew, and then after that, it's like, what, what now? What I do now? Yes. But you can kind of get into like a, you can get into like a little box or a depression in, in a way. Mm -hmm. If we don't have those people on the side of us um, speaking positive to us or, you know, staying fresh, even on classes or taking career. I know some free probably classes that state sometimes offer for businesses who wants to get started and things of that nature. I know WIC provide a lot of, um, um, workshops and things like that and that's what I love so mm -hmm. just staying fresh on your toes take it one day at a time um try not to do too much at a time you know what I mean mm -hmm. that will help um you get to the next level and I go back to say having goals like do you know write something something down that you're going to do for today right. and then stay in that day right. don't move too fast because <laughs> you get overwhelmed <laughs> <laughs> That's that is fantastic advice, particularly about being grounded. And it leads into my next question about how do you balance the various roles in your life responsibilities, both personally and professionally? And then again, could you go into more detail about the specific strategies you've, you've used to help you maintain that balance? Yeah. So, oh my goodness. I, for me personally, I always love the work ethic and I think that's something that my parents had grounded in me since mm -hmm. I was a child um I always had a job and being an entrepreneur you have to not in nine times out of ten you either have a full-time job and also pursuing your business and yeah. trying to get that off the ground and that's a, also a full-time job believe it or not mm -hmm. so having those multiple aspects of just balancing everything along with taking care of your household, you know, mm -hmm. you yeah. have family, children, husband, it's a lot to handle, but yeah. women and women like us, we are built different. We have that, that solid um hold. But one thing that I will say that we have to keep um in mind is to make sure we are staying grounded with our morals and our ending goal. Like that's the main important thing that kind of keeps me grounded in multiple things. Um, and then taking the time for ourselves, self-care. Mm -hmm. I had to learn that over time. Like I love going and going. I think, of course, we are built for going and always on the go, but you have to always have that relaxing time and to recuperate so you can get those creative ideals and juices flowing mm -hmm. and you're able to be your best, best self mm -hmm. in your next thing. So that's such an important point, especially thinking about the balance, not just of work, but taking care of oneself. And I think mm -hmm. I'm really happy that today self-care is part of the conversation but I personally, I have to retrain myself to think of that as an obligation. I have this joke I tell myself that, oh, 
sleep is like the gym for my brain. And somehow that helped me just understand that though it's actually really important to get that extra hour and organize my day in a way, but it was, it was hard to, to figure out that balance. So that's, you know, I'm really glad you put that out there so people can understand it's part of your success. There is no success without that kind of balance, a critical point. Um, so moving to my last formal question, um, as we celebrate the Wonder Woman in Every Woman, how do you envision the future of women in the workforce and what changes would you like to see in terms of equality and empowerment? Mm, that is so good. Um, the changes that I would like to see in women, um, for just as general is um, for empowerment is to have more of us coming out and standing grounded and being the face and just doing the best that we are with our tools. But also the thing about us women, we we always have our hand out um, to bring some people up with us, yes. right? Yes, yes. And that's the most important thing that I wanna see us do is to pass the torch. You know, once we get to the level, um, either having educational courses for people or training others who are younger than us or even older than us. Mm -hmm. Like we have to be well-rounded um, so we can be and help each and every person on this earth. I feel like everybody has their specific task and things that they, they can do to contribute to making this world and making this um, workplace a better place. And for us to do our specific part, and have our hand out to the next person. I always picture like, I don't know if you, it's this image, I don't know where it's at or who um, created it, but it's like you're going up this staircase, right? And they have their hand out um, for the next person to come up. That's yes. how I envision yes. um, how we should be. And, and that's how it should be. So we can like a rotation, right? And keep this going positive, so. Yeah, that's what I see us. I want us to be that. <laughs> what a beautiful vision for the future. And yeah. one of the things I'm most proud of, of our WIT community in particular, I mean, I think women in general, we can do this, um, but mm -hmm. WIT really exemplifies this, is that at every level, at every member, that's been my universal experience. There's always somebody there with a hand or an advice, or even if it's just five extra minutes of time, that's yeah. something we, we individually celebrate. And in doing that, we celebrate the special parts of ourselves. So I'm, you know, I'm thrilled to hear you say that. And I think that's something that's going to resonate with everybody listening today. Um, oh, wonderful. So I just, I have some fun questions now. Um, Yay! Okay. <laughs> so how do you like your coffee? Oh, um, <laughs> I always tell people it's a joke. I drink my coffee when I really need it. And that's uh -huh. like a stressful day. <laughs> I try not to drink. But I do like my coffee, probably like two, two creams, two sugars. Like okay. I like to be even. Okay, it's mm -hmm. balance. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the balance. theme. <laughs> that's consistent. That's, yeah. <laughs> um, that's funny. As as for me, like I don't like it to taste like coffee at all. So I just <laughs> all the milk and all the sweet just, just I, I make it like the you know fun beverage because I'm I, maybe because I'm upset <laughs> that I have to drink coffee that day, so I'm gonna just make it fun. Um, make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Um, next next fun question. Where do you think, what location, um, workspace, physical place, mental space, where, what location do you think you do your best work in? Where are you when you're doing your best? Mm, that's really good. Um, it just depends on like the vibe, you know, but sometimes for sure my home space is like my serenity, you know, mm -hmm. I feel comfortable here and um Sometimes I like to go to the library, you know, yeah. maybe because I, I, I love books and <laughs> um, I just, of course, I create books. Um, but something about the smell of the library and like the area. I just yeah. I love yeah. being around just history and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. lovely. And my last question is, if you could offer a specific piece of advice to yourself, maybe five years ago, what would you say? Mm. It's going to get better. Keep going. Oh, keep going great. Mm -hmm. great yeah great the best is yet to come yes it's yet to come <laughs> wonderful thank you so much for joining me for this conversation um this will be available on the website and you know for uh, on demand to our members mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i've had a wonderful time i've learned so much thank you thank you so much for your time and just this has been a joy. Thank you so much. I'm glad anytime. And if you have, uh, if you have any questions or, you know, 
you know, you want to reach out. I'm always here. And then, oh, the last thing, how can people find you if they want to learn more about you and your work? Where should they go? Yes. So you can go to my website, which is www.ajcrutcher, that's C-R-U-T-C-H-E-R, Dot com and that will have everything the links to my books my social media my blogs I do some outside writing as well so mm-hmm. follow me there um and I would love to connect with you please don't feel, don't feel shy just come on in <laughs> I'd love to connect with people that's great and I'm sure you'll be hearing lots from from, from people soon oh I hope so I hope great. so <laughs> all right thank you have a good one thank you you too bye bye bye